Okay, so our next best possible lead would be one Mr. Devon Rogers. So, let's go see Brass. Need me for something? Yeah. We've already spoke to him. Um, bring in Devon Rogers. You say this Rogers was slotted to meet Kylie just before her murder? Indeed. Don't need any more justification than that. We'll bring the boy right in. Thank you. We appreciate you cooperating with us, Mr. Rogers. Cut the BS. You have a warrant. What do you want? What was your relationship with Kylie? Kylie? Oh yeah, sure. The showgirl. I know who you mean. Know her? How? We were just, you know, friendly acquaintances. We'd get together, hang out, party a little. <laughs> nice kid, sweet. Not hard like some of the dancers. Everybody liked her. Somebody didn't like her. She was murdered tonight. Kylie? Oh no, not Kylie. What kind of sick creep would hurt a nice kid like... Hey, wait a minute. You're not... Now you don't think I... No way. Never. I'm no saint, but I never killed no one. Check it out. That's what we're doing. When did you last see her? Jeez, I don't really remember. You know how it is with social stuff. Two weeks, maybe? Okay, do you have any cuts or scratches you're not telling us about? Yeah, I got a few cuts and stuff. Since when is that a crime? It isn't, but it might prove that you committed one. D did you know Kylie had hepatitis? Well, I do now. And I ain't too happy about having to get myself checked, either. Can we not get a sample from him? Okay, am I missing something? We're missing something. Yeah, what? Okay, that was weird. Um, we need a DNA sample from him. Can I just go ahead and... Hey, yoink. No. Um... Have I missed something? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Drag the print out of Kylie's schedule on the search screen of our lab computer and run a search. See what comes up. What? Hey? I'm, I'm busy. Hey guys, what's up? Oh. I didn't know I could do that. Devin. The last person in our victim's date book has a criminal record. Some recent temper control problem. Let's file that in our suspicious folder. I didn't know I could do that. Alright, well... Brass, bring him back in. Need me for something? Oh, what's this? Yeah, the files tell an interesting story about her. Seems she reported a stalker just six months ago. I'd like to tell you we busted the bum, but I'd be lying. And my gut says it's no coincidence she's on a silver tray now. Yeah, well, who's the... They just He's there up. as we speak. Go right in. There's nothing else I can tell you right now. Bullshit! You got a record! I want his DNA in his hair! God damn it. Got no means for him. What about the other, can we bring him back in? Is there something we're missing? What about you? There isn't much more I can tell you about the victim at this time. Damn it. What can I do for you? Ah, oh, yeah, well, you have something here. 
This rap sheet gives us plenty of excuse to talk to this charmer again. I'll have him hauled right in. He, we already knew that before we pulled him in last. Oh! Of course, I had to get a DNA sample. Duh. Last rocket scientist to book that room busted the mirror. And guess who cut himself cleaning up the damn mess? I bled on the sink and the new mirror. Then I cleaned up after myself. After all that work, I turned on the tube and watched the news. Work for you? Well, now what? That didn't help. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, all I've got left is these. I can't do anything without having something to compare them to. Do some up. What you got there is a partial print. Tricky little things, partials. Not enough info to call up a rap sheet in the database. Best thing you can hope for is finding an existing print or rap sheet hey. and a partial to it. Dumb, 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 dumb. His fingerprints. The devil's in the details. And it looks like we've implicated this devil. God, I'm an idiot. Alright, we know his partial is in the hotel room on the TV remote. Brass. He best yes. still be in. Yes. Partial print places him at the scene. Nice. On its own, that might not cut it, but add that to his name popping up so prominently on the Vic schedule. Oh yeah. Consider the warrant issued. Thank you. God, that was a bloody walk around. Uh, let's get the DNA first. What for? I got a right to know what you wanted for, don't I? What do you want to think I we mean, want DNA for? We're gonna anything. clone you. But why should I help you guys and trap me, Mr. Because we have a warrant. DNA sample can help clear you. We're trying to eliminate suspects from our list. We have a warrant, sir. You can give it to us, or we can take it. Fine. Our intern here is going to swab some epithelial cells from your mouth and take a hair sample with tweezers. Do, do, do. Couldn't you have been a bit gentler with that thing? Nope. All these. Oh. Take it easy. Temper, temper. Uh, we have evidence you saw Kylie recently. All right, okay, I won't lie to you. Because you already did. I saw her. I saw her tonight. Where? Hotel, way down the strip. Champagne Hotel, I think. All right, let's go back to the lab and compare these uh, samples. Hey, guys. What's up? Busy. They look identical. Strong Bingo. Likelihood our Mr. Rogers was in that hotel room around the time of the killing. All that leaves is DNA, which we need to give to you. What you got for the me? DNA reference sample from Rogers, but the real story unfolds when I compare it against another sample. So I did a comparison. Tested the sink swab DNA with Roger Sam. You already know that no belongs to I guess that wasn't his blood in the sink. We knew that. Now, I thought a comparison between the Roger's blood DNA and the skin from the fingernails would make sense. The result of my sweat and tears? Jackpot! Mr. Devin Rogers co starred in a scrappy little show with our victim. Thank you. Long way about it, Greg, but thank you. Don't really have much for means, but. I was going to talk to him. What can I do for you? He's there as we speak. Go right in. Why was just getting under Kylie's nails? It was? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. She liked it rough. Clawed my arm just to get a rise. Now, tell me if this sounds familiar, Mr. Rogers. The day Kylie returned from getting her sobering diagnosis, she did the right thing. She called anyone that she'd had sexual contact with. You asked to meet her at the hotel to talk about it. But your anger came out when she arrived. Kylie scratched you, defending herself. So you forcibly tied her to the bedpost and blindfolded her. The walls in that hotel are paper thin. So you turned up the volume on the television using the remote, which you then pitched to the floor. 
You tore a strip from the bed sheet, which was when a hair from your head fell into the folds. Then you wrapped the sheet around the woman's throat and finished her off. Your revenge taken, you left, but not before leaving a little tip. Yeah, we don't know much about that. What is with the money? Make up all the stories you want. They're bull. Start to finish. Well, you let me. He said it. Sucker. In your mind, that young woman killed you. So you killed her. That ain't what happened. She was alive when I left her. I swear it. We'll let a jury decide that. But the evidence says otherwise. It never no, ends. No, no, no. What's with the money? You did a good job on this case. You found a suspect that meets the requirements for means, motive... No, it didn't. That's all we can do. The rest we leave up to the district attorney. Now, let's do your evaluation. Great work. But asking for help cost you in your final evaluation. See if you can do as well without using any hints. No, Summit's missing. Hey, I haven't got six. Do I need to get 100 to get all the extras? Oh well, apparently we've done it, so. I kind of left my video a bit short. I was trying to split the uh, case into two parts, but uh, this part's kind of short. But, oh well, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next case. I like the music. Good music.